everybody. Rich Noto here, Florida licensed realtor, Florida licensed home inspector, Florida Notary Public with Loan Signing Agent Certification, your construction trained realtor. And check out the video at the end to find out more information about why it's so important to have a construction trained realtor. And also check out the video at the end to find out why my service is free to you and builder paid. And my goal when I help my customers is always to help them navigate to purchase a house with as little defects as possible. It's just so important. And when you hire a realtor that has no construction training, and let's face it, most of them don't, those agents just can't help you with identifying defects. And that's just so important because when you own the house, any repairs are gonna be on you at a certain point. So I got three villas over here, the Aurora, sunrise and the day spring and these are from Lenar so I'm gonna see if I could do these all in one video maybe I can maybe I can't is this recording Okay, so we're inside and it feels good because it's hot outside. Oh, and here's a garage. It's a single car garage, a one car garage. And we have a bedroom. And a bathroom. Okay, so kind of interesting. I'm a little bit heat cooked. I need some water. Been out in the sun for too long already today. I like this kitchen, living room, and dining room. And I'm gonna try to move a little quicker before I gotta change the battery. I don't feel like walking back to the car for a battery. And here we have a covered patio. So this is a large bedroom, especially for a villa. What's this, toilet in the closet? Yes, it is. So these two doors over here are a little bit annoying that they're so close to each other. Or should I say it might get annoying than bumping each other. So, got a big, big closet. Let's get a good shot of the kitchen and the living room and the dining room. And your laundry. And then we're back to that front bedroom and bathroom. So let's go into the next villa.
Hopefully it's not unlocked. The day spring, 1,616 square feet. Two beds, two baths. That's oh, a green lizard. Check that out. That's a beautiful lizard. Look at him. Green. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I like this. I like this a little bit better than the other one already. I might have seen this in another community. In um, San Antonio, here's your one car garage. And we are at Angeline right now in Spring Hill, Florida. Oh no, we're in Land Lakes, Florida. I believe it's Land of Lakes. I should point out this is a pretty pretty wide bathroom. Definitely a lot of a lot of width. It's a great covered patio, um, although you might be facing your neighbors if, if theirs is like that as well. Something to keep in mind. Oh, this is interesting. This is nice. I like this. Not sure how this is going to work out. Okay, so to the left is a master bedroom. bathroom and here's a big closet So it's kind of nice. It's different. I like the. Um, I like how this closet is over here, and then here's your towel closet, and then this is your uh, your other closet, and nice big bedroom, especially if the view is nice out the rear with those two windows. That's fantastic. Um, definitely a big uh, covered patio. Kitchen, nice spacious feeling kitchen. But the pantry, I would say, is probably a little, a, a touch bigger than standard. And here is the laundry room, and the HVAC is in here too. So I think it's a nice house, especially for a villa. Yeah, I like it because it feels a little bit different. It feels like a little bit sectioned, sectioned off, and I think that's great. All right, I do appreciate everyone stopping by to watch us. Check out my website, richnotohomes.com. Helping you anywhere in the state of Florida to purchase new construction homes. Thanks again. Have a great day. 
prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models, anything that they can match up at the time of contract, they may say, you cannot use a realtor. Please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact. You see how this works? When I went to purchase my first house, I was given terrible advice. Everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor, which is just not true. I had no realtor and it was terrible. From start to finish, it was exhausting. I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract, the salesperson basically vanished on me. It was just a terrible experience. When I purchased my second house, House, I knew I needed a realtor so I started searching. I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive but they were just high pressure sales. They were telling me to go to the builder, tell them I'm your realtor. When you pick out the house you want, contact me and I'll come down and help you. They would show me two homes, three homes, ask me which one do I want to buy. Many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes. Many of the realtors that are selling these homes, it's like they don't even read what you wrote. So my my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know or he was kind of guessing and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor is a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months while a new construction house is being built. Your realtor is going to be the one that's going to be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's going to be passed off the warranty, and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was going to be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still want to find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's going to spot something different. Just some quick tips. Just want you to understand that. I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video.